that's Aviation Buff. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things, and that is Day Glow Painted Aircraft, a piece of Americana. So let's get to it right now. Day Glow Aircraft, from 1958 till about 1962, U.S. military aircraft were painted in a Day Glow orange paint. Day Glow was a generic term used. Some debate about what color was used, but most historians conclude it was a fluorescent orange. The paint schemes were considered high vis or high visibility to aid in the avoidance of collisions between flying aircraft. Day glow was applied first by painting a white undercoat, generally insignia white, then fluorescent orange as a top coat. Day glow faded fast in sunlight. Colors faded from the fresh new fluorescent orange to a dull orange tangerine color to eventually fading completely away, revealing the white undercoat. Many photos of Dayglow aircraft show a variety of shades depending on how long the Dayglow was subject to sunlight. Dayglow is not to be confused with Arctic Red. Many U.S. Air Force aircraft from the late 40s even up to the early 70s sported Arctic Red schemes to aircraft that served in Arctic regions like Alaska. This Arctic Red was a high-vis color again to help aid in the visual of aircraft. Particularly when an aircraft might have crash landed in Arctic snow, the red would stand out and help aid in the search of the aircraft. Post-1962, when Dayglow was removed from aircraft, the United States Navy and the United States Marines still used high-vis paint on their aircraft, primarily on training aircraft, but the United States Navy at this time generally applied an, an insignia red to their aircraft, to which they still do to this day. The only U.S. Air Force aircraft today that still sport a high-vis paint scheme are the LC-130s of the New York Air National Guard, based out of Schenectady, New York, who use these ski-equipped LC-130s to operate from Arctic areas, primarily Antarctica. Dayglow aircraft has always been an interest to airplane lovers, a subject of an era gone by, and aircraft that once graced our skies now lie down quietly as ghosts in the sky. Their engines silent, and many have since been formed into another life. I love Day Glow painted airplanes. It's a part of our Cold War history because that's generally a piece of Cold War history is Day Glow aircraft. Uh, today, Day Glow aircraft are all but forgotten, and very little is talked about it. But there are some out there that have a big interest in the Day Glow aircraft, like myself. If I was going to build models and uh, paint one of my models in a, a Day Glow scheme, uh, testers come out with some very interesting colors that I would think match closely to the original day glow paint. They actually do have um, a fluorescent orange, which is this right here. Also, I would won't be also I won't be uh, concerned with using this color here, which is tangerine. This would represent, I think, a good shade of uh, day glow that would represent. Uh, uh, the color when it starts fading it turns into a, a duller orange and I I wouldn't be I won't be afraid to use this as well if you wanted to try and change up the color of day glow because as we all know day glow fades in sunlight and I think this would be a great color used to represent an aircraft with a, a faded day glow uh, paint Again, these two colors I would not be afraid to use. I would use for uh, paint day glow on my aircraft. Uh, and again, uh, colors fade depending on where the sunlight is hitting the day glow paint. So you could have like a, a, a upper part of uh, the airplane that is in direct sunlight have it more faded compared to an underneath the aircraft that don't get as much light would still have more of the original day glow paint. Uh, or fluorescent orange paint color on the airplane and you could vary this up on your model uh, so again I think these are great colors to, to use for putting day glow on your models and there's some other colors out there I know master, uh, model master does have a uh, international orange but it's it's that color I don't know it's seems a little bit too red to me it has more of a red tint to it uh, but I would stick with these personally, I think would do you good for painting day glow colored uh, aircraft. Uh, again, yeah, this is tangerine, testers tangerine right there. I think it's a beautiful color and that would look good. I think that's would be a very realistic color for a day glow that's faded slightly. It turns into that dull orange uh, color. 
But here, as you can see, the fluorescent orange is very bright, and that's a very beautiful color. Anyway, that's just to help you guys out if you're trying to pick out some paints for uh, your models to paint day glow. Uh, this my F102 on here that I got here is actually uh, the Arctic Red because uh, a lot of F102s flew out of uh, for the because uh, a lot of F102s flew out of Alaska and in the Arctic regions. You know, they wanted to be up close near the front where they can intercept the uh, Russian bombers real quick. So. You know, that Arctic Red would uh, show up great in the uh, Arctic regions, you know. But again, yeah, I, these colors I think would do you good for painting uh, day glow aircraft. And anyway, we thank you everyone for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. And also please visit www.warbirdbunker.com. Shop there for cool airplane t-shirts and stickers and other airplane merch. Please go to www.warbirdbunker.com. And with that, thank you everyone for watching. Keep aviation history alive. Till next time. Bye.